Hey there, Capricorn friends. How are you guys doing? Long time no see. This is Myra, and this is my channel, Healing Tea Talk. I'm so glad to be back with you guys. I have had a lot going on, haven't I? But I am thrilled to be back with you, Capricorn friends. Um, if you are new, welcome to my channel, and also welcome cross watchers who are here to see what's going on with their Capricorn person. Um, please be advised these messages may not resonate with everyone. And if they don't, you may need to check your birth or natal chart to see um, what your sun, moon, rising, or Venus sign is. Venus will be looking at this reading through this eyes of love, okay? Um, also, um, I have a, I do one, usually one affordable, accessible reading special every month. And this month it is... Um, $10.19 for the month of October 2019. It's a three card recorded spread with one advice card and one and clarifiers. So if you, if you think you need this after that reading, go ahead and book it very affordable. So let me uh, do a quick prayer Capricorn and we'll get into your spread. Thank you Father for my Capricorn friends. Let this reading provide the greatest level of clarity and guidance that they are seeking. Thank you Holy Spirit. Thank you angels. Thank you spirit guides of the highest most divine order. Thank you ancestors and thank you Jesus. All right so honesty is essential Capricorn number 38 here at the bottom of the whispers of love deck. And then we have forgiveness. Nothing is gained by holding on to past disappointments. Okay, next we have look to your inner strength. You are stronger than you realize. And then we have physical touch. A tender touch can mean so much, Capricorn. So you guys right now probably know better than me why you got these cards and i'm going to pull uh, a card from the goddess guidance deck i haven't done that yet or i haven't used it in a little bit so let's see if anything comes out for you capricorn for the next 10 days this reading is for capricorn sun moon rising and venus october 11th through the 21st okay um aries there is a full moon in aries on sunday the full moon is all about um, secrets being revealed. Um, some of our emotions may come to the surface during a full moon. We may also feel the urge to start something new. Um, I'm hearing that song in my head. Uh, say what you need to say. Say what you need to say. I think that's why that honesty is essential. Speak with love and truth. I think you have something that you need to say. I think it will take some of your inner strength and and uh, to do it. Some of you could be wanting to propose to someone. I'm looking at this gentleman on his knee, and it says physical touch there. And uh, the person you could want, and you could be wondering if the person will forgive you, Capricorn. That could be a thing, right? Alrighty. So easy does it here it says there is no need to hurry or force things to happen everything is occurring in perfect timing capricorn that's great reassurance then you have god is bridget don't back down stand up for what you believe is right i feel like if some of you are really feeling the urge to speak to someone declare your love you are being encouraged to not back down and do it and then we have infinite supply you are supplied for today and all of your tomorrows capricorn some of you could be going near water um but this is to let you know that your needs are indeed going to be met and then guiding children you are good at helping counseling and healing children use your skills to help children now And with this forgiveness card, this could also be involving children, too, because it looks like that this looks very parental, doesn't it? Like a mother and a child there. So there could be some kind of issue or need for forgiveness. Um, in a parent child relationship. OK, so let's see what the overall energy is for your reading. You showed up immediately, Capricorn. This is you. You being true to yourself, being honest with yourself. Be honest with yourself. 
that is at the core and center of your reading and at the but definitely this reading has to do with some kind of motherly energy um certainly definitely i'm almost i mean and i try not to use those words but i feel very strongly this empress card is about a mother uh, some mother earth type of energy it's seen stepping back from a situation and having done so much growth that you are able to see things from a balanced perspective because you have the benefit of experience um, being very well-rounded and having a holistic view of the world. Uh, so I definitely feel that energy of, um, and you could have children and I'm looking at this. Most people are trying to survive card. Um, I just feel like even if a child isn't speaking to you right now, if you're a parent or so, you're, you're at odds, that the person does love you. I think they're just trying to survive maybe some things that happened in the past, Capricorn. So their behavior is a survival instinct. Okay. Alrighty. What's the crossing energy for my Capricorn friends? Wow. Very strong energy, Capricorn. What is the challenge or the crossing energy, Holy Spirit, of this reading? For my Capricorn friends that are watching or across watchers. Um, there could be a child in your vicinity. Even if it's not your children, Capricorn, there could be a child in your purview or a child in your environment that needs your influence, your guidance, your love, your nurturing, grounded energy. The three of wands. So this is being at a distance from somebody. Okay, fire energy, um, having a an hope and an expectation I'm getting to hear from someone. Um, and there is a judgment call by the universe. There's definitely going to be some kind of action. Uh, could be a physical phone call. Um, some communication is going to come in. You're going to hear something, Capricorn. You are going to hear something. Uh, what is at the base of this reading? What is the foundation of this reading? For my Capricorn friends. Um, some of you don't want to be at a distance from anyone anymore. You literally want to be close enough to physically touch them. Is what I'm getting. Uh, it's like you, you know, this lady at this look to your inner strength is sort of on the outside looking in. And for some of you uh, with a child, that's sort of the thing. You're on the outside looking in. You would love to be able to protect them from everything and you guys could have had an argument there could have been some type of disagreement that happened between the two of you um, and again the world card is here so you guys could be at quite a distance from each other not only physically but in your perspectives I'm getting okay in the recent past there is a knight of swords which is somebody wanting to take action very sudden and quick change that could have occurred in your in your past with uh, an Aquarius Gemini or Libra the top of your energy is the Queen of Wands so this the Knight of Swords and Queen of Wands is rather spontaneous energy it looks like there was some kind of very impulsive decision or action that took place um, somebody I feel like follow their passion um, and so then we have this page of sword coming up here um i feel like somebody could have said it could have been a younger person said something pretty fly right they said something without thinking um even if they're not talking to you capricorn i feel like somebody is still keeping tabs on the situation seeing how where you stand how you feel the energy that you're bringing to this is the moon so i feel like some kind of secret came out um some kind of secret came out or will be coming out within the next couple of weeks. Um, someone could have eloped. I'm getting Capricorn. So, uh, yeah, somebody could have eloped and didn't say anything. And that's, you know, you're not. Yeah, you would have to forgive somebody, especially if, you're, if my child eloped and didn't tell me or vice versa. We would have some smoke in the city. <laughs> All right. All right. So the Ace of Swords is the truth coming out. This is truth and clarity. So you will get the gift of clarity, even if you feel a little cloudy right now. 
Sag, um, somebody is going to speak their truth to you. Okay, they're going to tell you the truth, bring you in from the dark. Um, the Queen of Swords is here. The Queen of Swords the, um, is good for cutting people out of things. And you could have felt like someone cut you out of their life. It could have been a child. They cut you out of their life. They cut you out of a very important part of life. And um, yeah, what is the hopes and fears of my Capricorn friends? The strength card, you are stronger than you think you are, Capricorn. Yes, you are stronger than you think you are. Uh, I just feel like somebody followed their passion. I don't know that they were necessarily trying to hurt you as much as they were trying to follow their dreams, follow their passions. And it sort of left you on the outside looking in. You guys could have had a disagreement about this whole situation and they're like, I'm going anyway. Okay. Um, I do feel like you, your, your manner can be gentle while you stand your ground. So your guidance cards in the very beginning are contradictory. You can speak the truth in love, right? Honesty is essential. So your, your, your child or whoever this is may not agree with you. You can stand firm in your position, but speak the truth in love. Okay. Capricorn, you can, you can be honest and loving at the same time. Okay. Make sure honesty, because there's a seven of swords here, which is, um, you know, not wanting to necessarily tell the truth to get the end result that you want, but you are being encouraged Capricorn to be honest, to speak truly and honestly be gracious in speaking the truth. Okay. All right. And then I'm looking at a queen of cups in reverse, which the queen of cups wears her heart on her sleeve. If this is, this is cancer, Pisces, Scorpio energy. If you are the parental nurturing feminine figure in this scenario, Capricorn, then you may be feeling like you could be holding a grudge. Excuse me. It really could be you wanting to reach out, wanting to be generous in this King of Wands energy. Okay. Having the ability to help, but maybe pausing first. Okay. But you definitely care. There's no question that whether or not you care. And so you're, if you're dealing with a young person, they could be trying to survive. They could have some needs, real, real tangible needs. And you guys were like, I'm not reaching out. I'm not going to say anything. They're going to have to call me and, and tell me what they need is what I'm getting. Okay. All right. So Holy Spirit, can we clarify Okay, yeah, so there is a need to speak the truth, be honest and clear in your communication, Capricorn. That is like, you need to speak, be honest and be clear um, in the right timing. So some of you, this hangman here is just, it's, it's using prudence in your communication. Wisdom and timing is everything, okay? What's this three of wands? What is this three of wands for my Capricorn friends? Alrighty, so six of pentacles is here, which is having a balance. Um, in other decks, it's give and take, okay? Uh, I feel like your whoever's at a distance from you sees you as stable, having the money and the resources, um, and you may need to tell them you have the money and the resources. So the Prince of Swords is here clarifying the Five of Wands. So there could have been some immature communication flying back and forth um, with this air energy, Gemini, Libra, or Aquarius, but it was like some pretty fly immature words. Uh, and they could have been honest, but the way it was delivered wasn't the best. And then the Princess of Wands here is a very um, pretentious, a pretentious, eager, brave young person, okay, 
He was like, well, I'm just going to go do what I'm going to do. Right. And then clarifying the Queen of Wands is a princess of pentacles here, which is sound, practical, uh, a, a bit spoiled energy, but it's uh, earth energy, Capricorn, Virgo or Taurus. So it's. I, I just get a sense of entitlement, like you're supposed to tell me what you're what you're doing. It's, it's sort of that energy like, well, you're supposed to tell me whatever. Right. And then the Ten of Wands is here, which is having a lot of responsibility and stress, being extremely stressed out about the situation, Capricorn. And it seems like that is your position. Like, I'm just really stressed out. Um, what is this? Page of Swords. Okay, the Three of Wands. So this is somebody who is fire energy, um, Sagittarius, Aries, or Leo. But it's someone who is you know they're working on themselves okay they're growing up and you could be on social media watching them on the other side of the world sunbathing on a beach somewhere and just keeping tabs on someone indirectly but it looks like someone is trying to improve themselves um self-improvement um and then the devil card you show up again capricorn in this um you could feel like somebody is self-indulgent you can feel like this fire sign is self-indulgent. Somebody feels like somebody is overdoing the most. Okay. Um, the moon card is the strength card. You are stronger than you think you are, Capricorn. Two major arcana here. Okay. You are strong enough to handle the situation that you didn't see coming. You can handle it. And the seven of cups here. Is somebody really, you know, dreaming about the situation, thinking about it heavily, feeling like, you know, they've let something slip through their fingers. Um, but I, you're going to get the gift of communication, Capricorn. You are. You have the Ace of Swords twice, okay? Which is me. You may have to reach out first. Ten of Cups is here, which is overflowing with emotion. Um, and maybe you don't want to be emotional, but yeah, and the High Priestess. So it's knowing what to say and how to say it. It is literally knowing the right timing of when to say something. And it will be the right timing, Capricorn, when you reach out because you kind of have a sense of what this person needs. The Seven of Swords is here, which is somebody who's sort of footloose, fancy free, doesn't really think about consequences. Okay. And so it seems like that's sort of the energy in this reading is somebody has bitten off more than they could chew. Um, they're not thinking about the consequences of what they have said. Okay. What is the strength card? And you have the strength card twice, Capricorn, the queen of pentacles, very loving, nurturing, feminine energy, being generous, having the ability to help, but having boundaries, right? Like I can help, but I'm, it takes more strength maybe to pull back and not rush in. Okay. Um, letting somebody work out their situation, working cooperatively with someone. And what is this queen of cups? is the five of cups so yeah somebody feels left out in the cold um yeah it's like it would take a lot of strength to not to not you know being very hurt emotionally hurt to the point where you're not going to say anything and i think that's why the forgiveness is here capricorn because whatever was said really hurt you to the core but but someone does need your help they need you and this says forgiveness. Nothing is gained by holding on to past disappointments. Somebody is definitely, I feel like, in need of your help. They, they need your resources or vice versa. Um, you do have a choice to make here. You could be at a crossroads about what to do next. Should you or should you not? Yeah.
definitely. I think you can feel their need. I think you're full of emotion for this person and you could be just checking up, especially if it's a young person that you love dearly, but it's like, I cannot bring myself to talk to them or reach out or offer my resources. Okay. So, um, definitely. And I just saw 2020 on the clock. So, you know, somebody has started, I feel like a new life. They have jumped out there especially if it's a young person. I have a daughter that's 21. I get it. They've jumped out there. They wanted to start a new life, didn't necessarily listen to reason. And you're sort of watching them flounder a little bit. And it takes a lot of strength to not um, do anything sometimes, you know? And so, um, but forgiveness is necessary. And there is a need for you, Capricorn, to speak the truth in love to stand your ground be firm in your position but very easy in your delivery okay all right guys i love you dearly i hope this guidance has been a blessing to you please consider making a donation to my channel it would be greatly appreciated capricorn i'm wishing you guys all the best book a personal reading if you would like like to get more insight on your personal situation i love you take care bye-bye